First timers walk through the door of the Board of Elections site to get their shot of Pfizer. Nora Klopp has been trying to get an appointment for weeks. Tuesday, she finally got through. At the beginning, it was very challenging. We had looked up several times online at different supermarkets and pharmacies, and we never found a spot. As the vaccine becomes more available, so do the appointments. I downloaded an app this morning and found time slots this afternoon, and that was that. Here's what Hamilton County Health Commissioner Greg Kesterman says is happening. Early on when vaccine was first available, the folks that were most serious about getting vaccine right away were very aggressive. And we're trying the techniques that we talked about, trying every single website and trying to get that vaccine and be first to it. I think folks are now uh, maybe less eager. If an appointment isn't filled, it simply rolls over. No vaccine goes to waste. Kesterman says though it's taking longer, so far all appointments are getting filled. It's a relief. It's, I think it's a, it's a huge milestone for everybody. The workday here at the vaccine clinic, like most, ebbs and flows. During a slow period, with the knowledge there would be leftover doses, WLWT News 5 photographer John Massey was able to get his first dose without a scheduled appointment. The local effort to get out the vax is one way health officials are trying to stay ahead of any decline in demand. And as time progresses, we are concerned that it will be harder to fill appointments, but we're not there yet in Hamilton County. So one worker here told me today a contributing factor to those open slots is that people are continuing to sign up with multiple providers. And while that was recommended early on when these appointments were so hard to come by, it's really not something you need to do now. And he also told me a lot of those people then forget to cancel their other appointments once they have one scheduled and then they're left responsible to fill those open slots. Reporting live, Molly Lair, WLWT News 5.